Okay guys, this is the homework help video for Unit 1, Homework 1 in RHS Chemistry. I'll go ahead and work through the odd problems here. Um, if you're having trouble, don't worry about it. Just remember that getting it done is job number one. I want you to come on Tuesday with the homework finished. So number one, we talked about this alloy metal that has a mass of 147.5 grams. Following metals are in the alloy. Uh, we have, and I'll put total up here. We have 37.6 grams of aluminum, and I'm going to start using chemical symbols so that we can remember these. Uh, we have 27.3 grams of zinc. We have 48.7 grams of tungsten. Sorry. And we have 10 grams of copper. And then it says we have an unknown amount of mercury, which is Hg. We want to calculate the grams of mercury in the sample. To do this, all we're going to have to do is add these four amounts up and then subtract from 147.5. So I'm going to do this on my calculator. 37.6 plus 27.3 plus 48.7 plus 10 and I get 123.6 grams. If I take 147, I'll go ahead and change colors for you here. If I take 147.5 grams minus 123.6 grams, that gives me, on my calculator, 23.9 grams of mercury. And that should be my answer. That's number one. Number three is just an algebra problem. We have 2.5 times 40 equals x times 0 0.0821 times 276. To solve this, all we're going to do is multiply these two numbers on the right together first. So we'll have still 2.5 times 40 equals x times 0 0.0821 times 276 equals 22.66. We'll round that to a 6 for right now. Our next step is to go ahead and divide everything by 22.66. So we'll have 2.5 times 40 divided by 22.66. This cancels over here, so that equals x. If we go ahead and calculate that out on the left side, we have 2.5 times 40 divided by 22.66. So we should get 4.41 equals x. Okay, moving on to number five. Uh, solve the following density problems using the equation density equals mass over volume. That equation is going to be really important as you go through the rest of this homework assignment. Density equals mass over volume. That's a big deal. Uh, so if we look at A, our volume is 10 milliliters. Our mass is 6.93 grams, so our density is what? So we'll put D equals 6.93 grams over 10 milliliters, and that's going to equal 0.693. And then our units are just going to be grams per milliliter grams per milliliter, so that's our density there. For the second one, we don't know our volume. Our mass is 5.1 grams, and our density is 4.7 grams per milliliter. That equals 5.1 grams over V. To do this one, we're going to have to multiply by V on both sides, and that's going to give us V 
times 4.7 grams per milliliter equals 5.1 grams. And then we're going to divide by 4.7 grams per milliliter on both sides. Here this will cancel, so we'll be left with V on the left side equals 5.1 divided by 4.7 and I get 1.09 with some rounding. And then our units there, grams and grams, so our units there should be milliliters and that makes sense because it's a volume. I'll leave you to do the third one, uh, C there, on your own. Uh, for 7, let me go ahead and erase some stuff here. Um, For 7, we get a block of lead that has dimensions of 4.5, sorry, 4.50 centimeters by 5.20 centimeters by 6.00 centimeters. And the block weighs 100 or 1,587 grams. From this information, calculate the density of lead. Now, I'm going to go ahead and draw a cube here, or try to. That's going to be our block of lead. And we'll say that this is our 4.5, this is our 5.2 side, and then this is our 6.00 side. I'll add the zeros in there so we're stay legit. Now, if we wanted to find the volume of this cube, we would multiply this number by this number by this number, and that's exactly what we're going to do. We'll take 4.50 centimeters times 5.20 centimeters times 6.00 centimeters. When we do that, 4.5 times 5.2 times 6.0, I get 140.4 centimeters cubed. Now, interesting fact here that you may not have known, a centimeter cubed is the same thing as a milliliter. So 140.4 milliliters. It's the same thing. A centimeter cubed and a milliliter are the same thing, just like we talked about in class today. To find the density then, we'll use that same equation from earlier, density equals mass over volume, and we'll, take, we'll say that D equals 1,587 grams divided by 140.4 milliliters. So our density then should be 1587 divided by 140.4, 11.3 grams per milliliter. That's your homework help video for homework number one. I hope this helped you out. Uh, again, if you don't get the other ones, go ahead and give it a shot. That's all I can ask of you. We'll go over this on Monday. Have a great weekend.